Christopher Columbus was born October 31st in 1451 in the Republic of Genoa, also known as modern-day Italy. During his teenage years, he set out on his first voyages on the Mediterranean and Aegean seas. He once voyaged to Chios, Greece, the alleged birthplace of Homer. His first voyage into the Atlantic Ocean in 1476, he almost lost his life sailing in a commercial fleet that was attacked by French privateers. The French burned a ship, forcing Columbus to swim to the Portuguese shore. He made it to Lisbon, Portugal, where he married Felipa de Estella. They had one son, Diego, in 1480, shortly after his wife passed away. Then he moved to Spain, where he lived for the rest of his life. Columbus believed the earth to be a sphere, allowing him to sail west to Asia in search of spices while avoiding the Muslim-dominated trade routes in the Middle East. During his voyages to the Americas, Columbus would spend them cheating the natives in search of gold and silver. He left his brothers Bartholomew and Diego in charge of his Hispaniola settlement before returning to Spain. Eventually, the settlement deteriorated. Settlers were complaining of the poor management of his brothers. The Spanish crown, as a result, sent a royal official to arrest and strip Columbus of his authority. He returned to Spain in chains to face royal court. The charges were dropped, but Columbus lost his titles as governor of the Indies and much of the riches he made during his voyages. Christopher Columbus died on May 20, 1506, in Valladolid, Spain. Columbus had numerous achievements throughout his life. He was determined to find a direct water route west from Europe to Asia, but he never did. Instead, he accidentally stumbled upon the Americas. Columbus's voyages created general awareness in the Americas for the European nations. It helped establish permanent settlements. This led to the beginning of Spanish colonization in the New World. He also established a connection between Europe and America, which led to the Europeans inhabiting the Americas. Four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean led to European colonization, which led to him claiming all the land for the crown of Castile. which is a state located in, the, located in the Iberian Peninsula. Upon bringing his findings back to Europe, he encouraged the group to go out and explore the, this new world. This group was called the Conquistadors. <laughs> With that, there was also an establishment of trade between Europe and the New World with the Native Americans and the Spanish. And with that, uh, with the new trade setup, the Spanish also brought over new diseases to the Native Americans, which killed many. There are many criticisms with Columbus's work. For example, some people, some people believe that he was not the first person to lay the stake to the new land or the new world. Many people believe Leif Erikson, a Viking, was the first European to set foot on North American soil. Hey everybody, it's Leif Erikson Day! Hinga dinga dargen! <laughs> Another criticism is that some people believe that he was the start of the transatlantic slave trade. One historian, Basil Davidson, even goes so far to call him the father of the slave trade. The slave trade. There are many darker meanings to Columbus's voyages. For example, one of his voyages was named La Empresa, or the Enterprise. He has also been criticized for his treatment of the natives. For example, once a slave system failed, he made a tribute system. All Taino, 14 or older, had to fill a hawk's beak with gold once every three months or suffer severe consequences. Yeah. 
1495, when Columbus encountered resistance on an island called Hispaniola, he slaughtered every native there. Samuel Eliot Morrison, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author, even wrote that Columbus was the cause of a complete genocide. Some recent actions by political groups and social rights activists have even started banning Columbus Day. Some of these examples are the school districts and cities of Berkeley, Minneapolis, and Seattle. Even now, on rare occasions, we can find protests during Columbus Day parades. Well, Columbus has many, many important achievements, namely being the... <laughs> you start off different every time. I know, I can't, that's, what, that's my problem. I start different Why? every time. <laughs> Maybe it's take a two-second video. Oh, okay, cut and rest up. Cut. No, it's fine. We it's just going to be all bloopers.